Okay, we're gonna call to order the August um, meeting of the Homewood Planning Commission. If we could please start with a roll call. All right. Mr. Henniger. Here. Ms. Wilcott. Mr. Harwell. Mr. Respento. Here. Mr. Armstead. Mr. Broadhead. Ms. Andres. Here. Mr. Goulas. Here. And Mr. Roberts. Here, thank you. Um, all right, next uh, item we had in our packets, the July 9, 2024 minutes. Um, I took a look at them. I thought they looked good. If, if they look good to you guys, I'd entertain a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, all right, the uh, <coughs> minutes are approved. Um, moving on, okay, communications from uh, our, our vice chair is not here today. Uh, the only thing I have to communicate is um, under our bylaws, September is a month where we elect all, uh, elect the, the, the chairperson, vice chairperson. Um, we will uh, select a nominating committee in the next, uh, hopefully next few days. If you have any interest in serving on the nominating committee, please let me know. Um, but we'll, um, we'll appoint a, a chairperson for that. And then next month, if we have a meeting, we'll vote on, on officers. So, um, all right, that's all I had. Uh, we also have no old business, uh, so we'll move to new business. Uh, our only case tonight is a request to amend a, a final plat uh, for Forest Ridge subdivision. The applicant is Robbie Pruitt. The case number is FP24-08-01. If the person here presenting on the case would come forward, please. And if you gentlemen, when you get up here, if you could state your name for the records and, and your address, residential address, and also um, include that on the on the um, the clipboard there uh, yeah, as well. Sign and sheet. Say our name and address and all that to us. Sorry about that. Robbie Pruitt, um, address is 2206 Williamsburg Drive, Pelham, Alabama. Um, oh, Ryan Ramage, 4207 Old Brook Lane, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Thank you. Am I doing this? Yep. Oh, I'm doing that. So, um, this request, we're, uh, I guess, all, there are three, of, three groups involved. Um, all still kind of all one, all in one, just separate, separated for accounting purposes. And when the subdivision was originally developed, when Plat Map had um, some requests by the previous fire chief, um, it required some, some certain things that when we did the development, um, we widened the road. We actually had a fire hydrant put up closer, and um, and we went and met with the fire chief about the the fact that since we've made these additions, because the big concern was, could you get two? truck side by side and then could you get the could you swing one of the doors open um, mm -hmm. on the side uh, could we do that and so we we showed him and he came out and looked at the site that we could we had made these changes during the development and what we're requesting basically is the things that were put on the original or discussed in the original plat map to be changed uh, so we we don't have to do the fire sprinkler system um, and then along the, the very right side or I guess you'd say that's south mm -hmm. south side of the property we'd like to put a privacy fence still within the distances and everything that the fire chief has agreed to. Um, so we were following his direction on what we said we could do. And then I don't, is that it? Is that another? Yeah, because he, uh, he requested to keep the uh, no parking on the private road. Yes. And um, that on there. So. so the primary thing was it was the road was too narrow when it was originally preliminary approved. We widened it when we developed it. And uh, the, the three groups, which uh, we, we'd like to have those removed so that we can, um, no fire sprinkler system and then run that privacy fence uh, and some very, very light vegetation down the right side of the road. Sure. Just to clarify one thing, the, the privacy fence is not a part of the amended plan. The fence is a totally separate. Oh, okay. Thing. There's a note. There's a note on it. There's okay. a note about okay. Within five feet. Oh, right. within five it's feet, sorry. Okay, yeah. we just can't do anything within five feet of the curb, right? Yes, yes. that's what the fire marshal yeah. recommended. That's what he recommended, so, yeah. 
Okay, if that's all you have for the moment, um, we have to open it up for the public to comment. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll now open the public portion of the hearing. If anyone here would like to speak to this case, you can come forward at this time and be heard. And seeing no one, we'll close the, uh, the public portion of the hearing and open it up for questions. And, and I'm just gonna start out, I think just to kind of summarize what you've said already is the original plat that was approved back in 2021 mm -hmm. had a set of conditions that were, that were filed with it um, and that um, some of those conditions are, have been addressed by changes to the property as reflected in the proposed amended plat. Right. Uh, and then the others that have not been addressed or w will be, you know, will remain in place. For example, the no parking, mm -hmm. um, that's all incorporated in the actual amended plat as opposed to being an addendum or addition. That's right. correct. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> We, we were talking, curiosity question, we were talking, uh, and I think you and I spoke as well, the existing road pinches in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Are there any plans or provisions to straighten that out to meet the width of the rest of that roadway? As of now, there's not. Due to the fact that if we do widen it, then we're gonna push those houses, um, and I'm sure many of you guys have probably seen, we're gonna push those houses further off that incline. So yeah. as of right now, it's, it's to keep it the same width. And when we were out there measuring and the fire marshal come out there, he, that's the part of the road, the narrower part is what he measured. But as of right now, um, it's not now on the left side, if you're going down, so I guess the north side, we are putting a curb in, a valley gutter, which is about a foot and a half wide. So we're actually extending the asphalt on the, on the north side of the road by another foot, roughly a foot and a half by doing that. Mark one through four? Um, that's right. Well, no, that's after the, well, one and two is already got the gutter. Okay. Uh, beyond that, we've already done it on lot five, since that's the one that's closest to being finished. And we've already poured it when we poured the driveway and sidewalk. And as far as the no parking, um, is there a plan in place for enforcement? Um, placement of signs, where they're gonna be, how many of they're gonna be? We're still working through, and then there'll be some signs, but it's also, and it's in the letter from the fire marshal as well, it has to be recorded in the HOA documents so that they, they sign it and approve, you know, as they're signing it, they know it's in there. But um, the game plan is to put some signs up that says no parking, no, no on street parking. <coughs> Just so they can't say they don't, they weren't aware of it, so. And so that through the HOA, there'd be, uh, means for addressing that if you had a habitual that's right a person who was right would there be room in these driveways to park in the driveway right now where the road's narrower we're holding the uh, houses off the asphalt about 18 feet once we get up towards the top like that the grayish color that driveway that's now in it's right at 18 feet off the road as you get up to the top of it, it narrows. I mean, if they've got a smaller car, it'll fit. Um, if it's something like what I drive where he drives, I mean, it's probably gonna overhang a little bit. But those, we haven't got up there yet. It might be that those houses can push back a little bit. We just haven't done the, uh, we haven't sighted any houses yet to see what fits up there. But we're trying to give them as much room. I mean, they've got the two car garage, but we are trying to give them enough room to be able to park some in the driveways. So, so we're having to address it, you know, per lot to a degree. In terms of garbage collection, uh, this is a private road. That mm -hmm. could, would y'all have, would, do city services mm -hmm. serve private roads? So would y'all contract, or the HOA would contract with somebody to? Yes, sir to do garbage collection. Okay. okay. <coughs> if there are no other questions, I would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second.
Oh, all right. Mr. Respento. Uh, yes. Mr. Henniger. Yes. Ms. Andres. Yes. Mr. Goulas. Yes. And Mr. Roberts. Yes. So your amended final plat is approved by a 5-0 vote. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, all right. So uh, moving on from, old, uh, from new business, uh, do we have any communications from the staff today? Okay, well, nope. um, with nope. that, I'll adjourn the meeting. Thank you. Okay.